All right, guys, so I put up a little poll on my YouTube community tab on which video you guys wanted to see next. And unanimously, it's decided that it's gonna be a match analysis video. So I haven't really competed in two months. So I'm gonna, uh, at some point I might analyze my match with Tim Lewis, both arms. But right now I'm gonna analyze my tournament match from the Battle of the Tri-State, which is the same day as my uh, super match with Tim. Um, my super match was first, so I was pretty tired for these matches. So keep that in mind. You know, everyone loses, but I have my excuses. Everyone else has their excuses. My excuses, I pulled the match first. So realistically, I would have mopped the floor with this tournament if I had not pulled my match first. Whether this is true or not, up for debate. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna analyze my matches from Battle of the Tri-State and in the future, just let me know what videos you guys want me to do. Um, uh, I put out some ideas there for like for videos like IFA versus WAF. Um, what else did I do? Um, Vermont at, for uh, their their Shield series, analyzing that, and some other stuff. But uh, if you guys have any ideas for videos you want to see, just let me know, and uh, I'll figure something out. All right, see you then. All right, so first match of the day against Aaron Mosge. Um, Aaron's very good inside, so I knew I had to end the match quickly. I was going one of two options, top roll or press. Don't want to get caught in the hook with him. I decided for the first match with him, I went I went to go for a top roll. His containment was a lot better than I, I thought, but thankfully I was able to get through it with side pressure and get the pin. Second match of the day, a little bit of an odd match against William Rodriguez. He ends up, uh, so I end up having hand control off the start and uh, I'm going for a hand dominated top roll, uh, full hand top roll, if you will. Um, and he kind of holds on like this and I like tries to slip out like this. He's, he's goosenecking a little bit and um, I, I hold on, I climb his hand and then I hit sideways hard. But as, as I'm hitting, he slips out. Personally, a little bit of a weird match. I would kind of, if I was if I was the ref in this situation, I'd probably call straps just because in the video and while I was pulling, I couldn't really tell how low he got. And it seemed like it should have been a slip, but they called it a pin for me. And you know, I'll take that all day. I'm missing footage, but in between this, I had a match with Steve Black and he ended up beating me in a hook after I tried to top roll him. And uh, so I'm missing footage for that, but I, I we end up meeting in the finals and you'll see that footage later. All right, next match was Aaron again. First match, he slowed me down a little bit. I really didn't want that happening again. So I just went for a press and I was able to get the pin pretty easily. Felt it a little bit in my elbow, didn't feel great, but um, you know, I had the match, the super match before this. So my elbow's getting pretty worn down from the day. Makes sense, got the pin, no big deal. All right, next match is the uh, loser bracket finals. This was against my good friend, Yusuf Wilson. Uh, let me play the match here. All right, so slip to the straps. I have majority hand control going to the slip. He kind of like bails out. Um, he ends up getting a foul. Uh, I think he got a foul for a false, no, moving in the ref script. That's what his foul is for. By the way, we were both moving in the grip, ref's grip. I kind of fucked him because I was I was kind of cupped in and the ref didn't, couldn't really tell, but um, I cheated a little bit. Um, all right, so he goes back, I go sideways, I have full hand control and I drag him into a hook and I pin him pretty easily. Next match, we've got Steve Black again. This is moving on to the finals. I've got one loss, he has zero. All right, so I'm loading back like I'm gonna top roll a little bit. And as soon as it's go, I, I, I'm bringing my shoulder in and I'm pressing. I did not wanna risk top rolling again, uh, especially because it feels, his hand feels very susceptible. It feels like a hand that you can, you can take advantage of. However, his fingers are not such. His fingers are substantially stronger than his cup and his wrist. So I was, I, I, didn't really want to risk at the time trying to top roll him again, but you'll see in the next video that uh, I end up being a dumbass and I try and top roll him again.
All right, so as stated, finals, one and one with Steve. Um, my dumbass is going for a top roll, and that's because of Steve's setup. His setup is like is like this. His wrist is slightly back, so I'm like, well, I, I can just take advantage of his wrist. But the thing I'm not keeping in mind is how strong his fingers are. And so even though his wrist is slightly back, he has enough room to shoot inside and just turn himself under and put the pressure more into his fingers. And he catches me in another hook and he drags me down. I should have just tried to press. Really just a mistake on my part. Uh, big regret there. Should have just pressed. But, you know, Steve's an awesome guy. Uh, he's got, he does a lot of singing and stuff. But super nice guy. And uh, if I'm going to lose to anyone in the finals, I'd rather have it be him or Yusuf, people I like. Um, not that there's a whole lot of people in the Ormeston community that I don't like, but, you know, there's some, yeah, there's some guys I don't want to lose to. All right, guys, let me know what videos you want to see from me in the future. Um, I have some ideas, but if there's anything you guys overwhelmingly want to see, I will totally put my attention towards that. So, um ideas that i have right now is ifa versus waf how to get stronger as a beginner and um the vermont shield events but um obviously open to any suggestions just let me know see you guys